Hello awesome people, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Prison Architect. In this, ser in this season, uh, we're almost done uh, and in this episode, we're gonna probably finish up this little last bit of the prison right over here. Uh, it's the only thing we have to do. Uh, do the offices, do the reception area and do the sort of the logistical area probably over here. We'll see what we'll do with that, but we are gonna finish this today. Also a very, um, I guess somewhat important notice. Uh, someone asked me in the comment section of the last video to, if I could share the uh, this prison on the Steam Workshop for them to you know carry on with it and try it out. Uh, I actually didn't thought about that, but you know I'm I'm willing to do so. Uh, probably in the description of this video or maybe in the videos where we try to escape this prison that are, that are going to be the next videos on this uh, on this season to end it. Um, I will have that link in the description. I will also put the link in the Discord server for the people that are there. Uh, so you can guys can try it out, see for yourself how it works uh, and, you know, change it, uh, add to it, whatever. One thing, if you do so, if you add to the prison, I'm really curious what you're going to add and how you're going to do it. So let me see, tell me in the comments, whatever, uh, show me a picture on the Discord server. I'm really curious what you guys are going to do with it. And uh, that being said, let's jump in for today. So let's go full speed ahead and let's try and finish this all up. So it's really easy actually what we're going to do here. We're going to just set up some office rooms. Um, let's start with that. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to make two of them and then just copy them over because we don't really need like a fancy office here. Uh, let's put the lights in. Uh, what else should we put in? Can we sort of zoom in? Thank you to get the appropriate things. Thank you. So we're going to have an office desk. And an office desk right there. Uh, a chair for the office. Yeah, actually that does looks great. Uh, and we need a filing cabinet, right? Yeah, so. And that should do it. That should be good enough. They have a normal chair in these offices. They're gonna get a like an executive chair in the one in the other ones. Oh, we have some new uh, some pr new prisoners coming in. Let's check in, see if there's any uh, any anyone in there that we need to sort of put into a, a higher security max or into protective custody, of course. Not really. We have to wait on the offices to finish, so we have the time to do this. Okay, so that was it. Uh, ooh, we get a death row prisoner tomorrow. Ooh, we might actually wait on that just to see what he's done. We're, we don't have time to... Uh... Actually, he... Ooh, the killer parole officer. Um, but yeah, he. we probably don't have time to see the full execution process and everything. I've did that in a previous series. I've had two other seasons of Prison Arctic. One with a women's prison and one with a man's prison. Uh, and in both series, we ended up with the death row prisoners. Uh, a few of them, actually. Um, and going through the process of trying to execute them or release them based on whatever uh, was the right choice. So if you want to see that, then there's uh, there's other series for that. Uh, the good thing is, I think that when we go and try and escape from this prison, uh, we should have that person in here because we basically load up the safe, right? That's going to be cool to have some uh, some death row prisoners in there. Death row prisoners, I should, I should say. Uh, this office should be finished now. Awesome. This one is almost finished. And then we're just going to delete all these offices and they will reclaim these offices as their own. Uh, we could even make this more secure by adding sort of a, an, uh, a secured area over here. But I don't think we need to because this, this is a place where prisoners basically won't come. Basically won't come. So staff only. Let's do that. Awesome. So we don't really have to worry about this. Why is this not working? It, it needs a fighting counter. It has a fighting counter. It's. I think it's just... Yeah, it just needed to load in. So pause the game for just a sec. Let's go in and let's clone all of this to here and to here. And... Make sure that we clone this to here and to here. And when this is all finished, we're gonna hire one extra psychologist and we're gonna just delete all these offices so that they can re go over here. What is happening right here? You have some fighting? Not really. Okay. You. What are you doing? You're doing yoga? Something like it? I don't know, it's a gym mat. I mean, I, you could do yoga on a gym mat, right? Um, so let's see, this is going to be finished, awesome. This reception really is a pain in my eye because I, I never built receptions this small. It was just, it fitted, basically, and uh, that's why I did it, but eh. <laughs> it's not like the best. I don't really like it, but yeah, that's just the way it is. So, rooms, 
Let's start getting rid of some of the rooms. Because we have two offices available, that means uh, we can just do this. There we go. We can actually get rid of all these doors already. We don't really need them. Ooh, did we find a tun another tunnel? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, uh, that's probably not a tunnel. To be fair, it's it's too far off of the cells. Why would they dig down? It's They would probably just go straight there. Probably not a tunnel. Let's just leave it. Oh, someone actually gave a good comment uh, saying that if I'm pretty sure there's a tunnel, like the last episode we had like a tunnel right here. I was pretty sure it was a tunnel. It also, it was a tunnel. Um, they said instead of just removing all the toilets right here to find the tunnel, you could also place a toilet on the tunnel, like for instance, right here. And, uh, and then remove that toilet to uncover the tunnel. Uh, they also said I, that they were not sure if that was considered cheating. I think it is kind of cheating, but on the other hand, if you're really sure that there is a tunnel, uh, you know, normally you would expect the guards to do a better job at that point, right? I mean, they should. They should at that point just do a better job. I feel, because there's information that there might be a tunnel, or that, that there's highly likely that there's to be a, a tunnel, so in my eyes they should just at that point do a way better job than they are doing. But yeah, that's just me. <laughs> uh, also, we don't have a visitation room, I think of now, for protective custody. That might be an issue. Uh, we could set a visitation room up here, maybe. Maybe, probably, nah, I'm not really worried about it right now, to be honest. That's, that may be, that's something for you guys to do when you load up the prison, to change it up a little bit where I, you think I left out and I missed out things on things, you just, you know, make sure to add those things in. I feel like that would be fun for you to do. Now, uh, let's see, what do we need? Oh, probably, first off, I'm gonna fix this because... We're going to bulldoze this area and we're going to build a simple wall right here. Because I hated the fact that this was not like straight. I couldn't, I couldn't manage that. I couldn't, couldn't get that. Probably changed a lot. Of, no, it actually did not change anything in deployment. That's actually good. Nice. <clears throat> now finish up the wall, please. Please finish up the walls. Thank you. It's not the safest uh, thing to do, but you know, they shouldn't be uh, leaving here. And we have the sort of a safe lock over here to do that. So is this still set up correctly? Yes, it is. So they can still use these cells, but they can't basically get in here themselves. That's good. Okay, now that we have this, we will hire one extra psychologist for this office. There we go. Where's the accountant gone? Oh, the accountant is probably in the staff room somewhere. Okay. Uh, also, I changed off camera. I changed a little bit of the utilities over here. You can just add that one in. Um, so that we have sort of this set up because this power stations can easily supply all the power in this area. So we're just going to get rid of this power station and just hook the lines up basically to here. Uh, that's going to be one of the last steps we do today. Uh, and now with that, this all in there, I guess we just get rid of all of this. Probably not, nah, probably just build the reception first. So that's the thing we should do. Let's make it like nice and wide, nice and big. Um, this is 15, how much is this? This is 13 plus one, this should be 14. So if we put in a uh, door right here, like a normal door, this should be like the, the, wait, actually I'm gonna measure this out so that I don't make a mistake. So this is, oh, it's 13. Oh, wait, what? This is 14. Okay, we could make like a, a door right here, I guess. This is seven, there's a six, so there should be the opening, okay. So if we put in a, do a door, please go to doors, thank you. Large jail door, put it in right there. And that should open up reception. This is going to be a huge reception, but on the other hand, we have sometimes an influx of a lot of prisoners, so we should definitely do that. And uh, we just make a reception area right here, and then have an exit somewhere over here, probably. Maybe even two exits. 
so that we have like a better flow. Um, but first we need to make this area. Also utilities. Okay, we have the utilities already going in there. That's amazing. That's very good. Oh, we found a tunnel on our own without me interfering and getting rid of the toilet. Uh, getting rid of the toilets. Oh, actually, some managed to escape there. Six people actually managed to escape. Okay, that's uh, that's a new one. Well, that happens. <laughs> There we go. So again, let's measure it out. This should be 13, right? Yeah. So we could make like two different um, doors to the outside to increase the, uh, the flow of prisoners. I feel like we should do that. Like one here and then one there. That should be good, right? Can we please finish this up? And let's for now let's just open this so uh, up so that people can easily get in there to finish it up. And then we will make this into a reception. Where is it? Reception, reception, reception. My blind probably again. Where is it? Oh, there it is. A huge reception for us to use now. Uh, okay, and the first thing we're going to start doing is light it up, of course. So we're going to have like a light here, a light there, a light there, a light there. And probably, yeah, let's do it like this. It's going to be a very lit room. Wait, what? Is this actually right? It feels like one, two, three, one, two. Oh, it actually is right. Okay. And it should all be lit up because we already have uh, stuff. You guys are not do not have a cell. Yeah, that's because we didn't fix this. No. Oh, you're may you may be waiting for solitary. That might be not. Yeah, you're probably waiting for solitary cells. The people are fighting again. Oh, please don't die. Thank you. He's really hurt. He should go to the uh, to the med bay. Okay. Let's just focus on this project over here. <laughs> Let's just focus on this project over here. So reception, one other thing that I really want in reception is the metal detectors. To, when they come in, they need the metal detectors. They also need the bins then at that point. And the other thing is we need we need like a, a, a what, what should we call it, an office desk. We'll probably just put that like in this corner, I guess. With a chair like this. And that's that. And then we should just put in tables. Right? Yeah. So the tables are going to be on this side. There's also going to be, yeah, probably even more. Nah, there's probably, there's going to run, we're going to run some tables right here. Uh, not really wanted to put a table there. This is actually, this is fine, probably. Let's put another table down there. And that's that's good enough. And then we have room to do all that. Um, should we add in some benches? No, they can't really sit on the benches, so we don't have to. Actually, what we should do, hopefully to keep them a little bit calmer, even though that's not really needed in reception because they are in handcuffs. But, you know, let's just say it's for the guards. We should add in a radio. There we go. And that's reception done. So once this is all set up, we can then change it. I hear tasers going off. This is already seen, so it's probably not them. Uh, ooh, our death row prisoners is, prisoner is almost here. You've been annoying too, apparently. Our new reception area is being built. That's good. So we should also go to wait, deployment, staff only. There we go. No prisoners allowed. Uh, the other thing is we need to hook these up to electrical. So that's it. Death row prisoners should be coming in. There we go. Come on, where's my death row prisoner? It's not in those buses, not in that one. Come on. I don't see him yet. Although he doesn't have to be, tra uh, he doesn't have to have traits. To be fair, he's already in here. James Baltazar, where is he? 
There he is. James Bolster, 22 years of age. What did you do? You murdered two people, you tortured one, and grievous uh, bodily harm. Yeah, likelihood of clemency, 35%. I mean, yeah. I've had worse. <laughs> That's not a good thing to say, but yeah, I've had worse people joining on, on that row. Uh, the reception, that, rece that reception one is done, so we can just get rid of this one, which, which definitely would help. And it also would mean that we just lock open these doors now. And it would also mean that we have to deploy two guards in here to always be there, basically. Um, deployment staff only. I don't know why that, that's all of a sudden not considered as, you know, part of the room, but sure. It's going to be staff only, and then we're going to do, well, we just keep playing. We're going to dismantle these objects. Get rid of all of them. There we go. And then we'll just move to this reception. This is a way better reception area. It's a bit big for what I normally do, but on the other hand, if we get a lot of prisoners in, uh, it will still be very useful. The reception area is done. That means we can now start demolishing the walls. So basically what we will do is we will take out all the inside walls and all these inside walls so we can start rebuilding. Uh, also, uh, objects we will dismantle these there we go and the water pump because we don't need the water pump there's no uh, utilities going from that water pump so we don't need it however it might uh, make sure that we don't have power over here because this is this is part of the power line basically um, see so it might change this power supply with that well we could easily hook it up then it's not that big of a deal. There we go. Finish up all these walls. Make sure that everyone is happy here. We will make like a large staff room over here. Uh, so that the staff that's over here and over here can just go there. Because most buildings have their own staff room. I'm not sure if this has their own staff room. This might not have their own staff room. No, this, not, this doesn't have their own staff room. That's totally fine. We can fix that. Um, they can just go here. That's totally fine. Can we please uh, get rid of this? Oh, wait. It's utility, so we can't. Okay. Dismantle utility. Let's just get rid of these. All of these. Yeah, and that's going to be it. There we go. Get rid of all those. Finish up the rest of the utilities. Uh, that's another thing that we should do. We should start building towards this at least. And then while we're doing this, yeah, see we're losing electricity. We should hook these up. And this should be like high priority right now. Thank you. And we hook up everything that's electricity, um, which is good. Oh, we have a death. What, what's happened? What's happened? Killed for being a snitch. Well, yeah, this entire part of the uh, the facility is now without without power. That's not good. We also need some lights in here, by the way. There we go. That should do it. Please focus on these. It's important to fix these. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Probably gonna be a little bit of a longer episode today so we can actually finish up all of it. Come on, come on. Uh, sometimes these are these guys are so slow. Let's start planning this. I want a hallway of at least three. So this is going to be like the staff room and that area. And this is going to be like a huge entrance area, which I honestly don't really care for that much. It can be just open, I guess. I will leave it open and I will... It's a huge entrance area. Um, and, you know, we can sort of... 
maybe have like like if new prisoners come up they will be riled up right here and not basically be introduced to the prison we can do something like that uh i guess um we'll see how we do that uh so yeah we're gonna have an entrance there because this is gonna be a huge staff room and that's just gonna be it we don't need more than that there we go and then we're gonna add in a door which is gonna be a staff door there we go there we go fix that one last little bit of electrical wire please we need that also we need to fix in some lights right here i guess and we need to make sure that we have lights in this area There, that should do it. Now make sure that you all build that. Let me get rid of that part. Thank you. It looks good. I think I think this is this is uh, the best option that we had with this area. I mean, the area wasn't like predetermined to do this. It was like uh, just going with the flow, basically. Let's look at our utilities. Are we doing? Yeah. These should all be easily hooked up. So the only thing we have to do right now is uh, I'm gonna go to objects. I'm gonna get rid of these lights and place some new ones in there. Because it, we can easily make it better. I think let's just do like this, like this, like that. Wait, that's not. Like that, yeah. And then we can do like this. That makes it a bit better, like a bit more symmetrical inside this area at least. There's gonna be like a huge entrance area. And I don't really care about, uh, I actually do care about those. Uh, concrete tiles, concrete floor. There we go, get rid of those. Because they're in the middle of a, of a big room basically, and that's annoying. Okay, there we go. Okay, rooms, staff room. Where is the staff room? Uh, let me get a staff room. Can we please? Okay, I am, am so sick of this staff room. There we go. Huge staff room. And we're going to place a lot of it in, inside here. We're going to place a large TV for them just to enjoy. There we go. Uh, a wooden table. Ooh, that's pretty funny, but we, we are not going to use it. Um, I'm going to put some sofas. Like right here, right there, right there, right there. Well, actually, no, we don't have one there. We don't need one there. Uh, we could place sofas right here, right here, and right here. Like in a sort of a circle so that people can sit down together. Uh, we can put the drink machines right there. Let's just keep this playing. Coffee machine, sure, put that one there with the door. Uh, we could put in a radio in the corner here for them to listen to. Table tennis, sure, just to relax, there we go. Uh, we'll put in a few, oh, that's not a bootcase like I thought it would be. Uh, arcade, yeah, put in some arcades, awesome. Something else, paintings, nah. I feel like that's it, that, that's that's good enough for now. This is a nice staff room to be in. It's, it's the nicest staff room that we have, basically, in this facility, so. It should be, and that should be the end. I mean, once this is all finished, then that's the end of uh, of this, and we should be able to uh, to basically call it a day in this prison, which is insane. Look at it. It's one of the most fun prisons I've ever built, I think. It's not the best one, definitely not, but it's, it's one of the most fun ones to build, I think, in the end. It was a lot of fun to build it. Uh, a lot of things happened. Uh, it's also the first time ever I got to a million... Uh, in this in this game as a bank balance that's a first that's cool so uh yeah let's finish all of this up and make sure that we have our staff room ready and then it's going to be the end of the episode and the end of the season if you consider it to be building a prison because the next one we're going to try and escape it so yeah awesome it looks it looks pretty cool although it's it's kind of a bit blocky i tend to build in blocks in this game because i just think it, it works the best um but yeah 84 days we took 
a total time played 15 hours 7 minutes yeah quite a long time the staff room is basically finished they're finishing up the last few things but this is gonna be it guys uh, in the next episode you'll see me try and escape from this um, also take a look in the description if you want to play this there might already be a link to the uh, steam workshop item if i have time to upload it uh, if not then check again if you really want to i will have it uh, at some point and also just if you want to you can join the discord server the link is in the description of every video uh, and i will definitely put the link of the steam workshop item there that being said as always i've been hipbone you've been yourself thanks for being awesome and thanks for watching